For less than $2, you can get a mini bus outside of Bangkok for an hour ride to Ayutthaya, the ancient capital of Siam. Traveling time, traveling all over. Come on, travel with me. It's tuk tuk time. Ayutthaya is a little deceptive because you think that you're just coming to the ruins, but what you're really coming to is a lot of scattered ruins all over a major metropolitan area. So be prepared to come and get a taxi or a tuk tuk or a tour guide so you can kind of hop around to all these fun places. But they're all totally worth it, right? We're right now at the Reclining Buddha. The ruins like Wat Chayathar. What is it? <laughs> Chayathara? Chayathara? Chai, Chayathara? 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 Yeah. You might think that all of these ruins are the same, but they're not. You start to get a feel of how the ancient Thai people built their temples and cities. Each temple has a stupa in the center, that's the bell-shaped tower, surrounded by smaller praying towers. That said, each one is unique in its own right as they were built hundreds of years apart from one another. Wat Mahatat boasts a Buddha head that has fallen and then was engulfed by a Bodhi tree the same type of tree that Buddha himself found enlightenment under. Thailand is hot. It's humid, it's sticky. You're gonna walk a lot and you're gonna sweat a lot. So just be prepared. I live here now. <laughs> Why is it so scary? It's steep, it's very, very steep. <laughs> Thanks for coming to IU2 with me. If you miss Bangkok, check it out here. I'm traveling to lots of other places, so check that out here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and tell all your friends. Thanks.